nutrition. Hey YouTube, Dog Nutrition 84 here with a deck updates, channel updates kind of thing. Um, uh, first of all, just to quickly get this out of the way, um, as you saw, I finally achieved my goal of defeating Endymion with Dark Magician outside of an endurance. I, um, yeah, took a while, but I managed it. Um, I'm happy. Like I said, makes up a lot for um, what happened in the tournament. Um, so at least I can still technically leave competitive Yu-Gi-Oh on a high note. So now that I've done both the goals that I've uh, wanted to do, like that's it. I'm done with competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, unless it's a pass format tournament or a speed duel tournament, I am never entering a tournament again. Fuck that. Like, I, like I've just had enough of everything related to competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, really. Like, too many decks that do things that don't let anyone play, regardless of whether it's meta or not. Um, too many banished cards, especially Druis Worm. Um, A.K.A. Dark Magician Hate. Um, not seeing my sided cards when I need them. Um, at least that's the case most of the time, it feels like. Um, it, I mean, yeah, I did, like, in the match earlier, but... Um, but still, it feels like most of the time I still don't draw them when I need them in a tournament game. Like, and then there's end of match procedure, like, I'm so fed up of being fucked over by end of match procedure. Like, and of course I'm just fed up of dealing with players who take the game too seriously. Um, not that I've encountered those, really, kind of, since I came back. I don't know. Um, um, but still, these are three things that just made me permanently retire from tournaments in the first place. Like, even before this temporary comeback. Um, well, except the Dark Magician hates. Like, that... Um, That's including the fact that uh, bestials exist um, that have given me another reason to just not bother playing in tournaments anymore. Like, just all of these things just make competitive Yu-Gi-Oh just off-putting and unappealing, and I just want no part of it anymore. Um, Of course, um, this kind of brings me to um, something that people have been asking me a lot lately. Uh, several people have asked, do you have an Edison format deck? Um, well, the question is, I do. I've got two, um, both under the, the March 2010 ban list, which is Rainbow Neos and Spellcasters with one Dark Magician. Um, I'll just show you them now. So yeah, these are my Edison decks. Um, the Rainbow Neos deck and the Spellcaster deck. Now, there's a big problem with the both of them. Um, apparently, cards from Duelist Revolution are not allowed in Edison slash March 10 format decks. Um, I mean, I'm not 
a hundred percent sure of the reason why, like maybe someone can tell me in the comments, but it means I'm going to have to edit these decks. Um, there's, um, in Rainbow Neos, I have two copies of uh, Dragon Knight Draco Request. Now, to be fair, I don't generally go into them anyway. I mean, I can, but it's awkward to do. As, um, and obviously the aim of the game is to just get out Rainbow Neos, just like that. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out some replacements. Um, I mean, I can put in Elemental Hero Gaia, um, even though I don't main any Earth monsters. Um, and it's difficult, because Gaia and Absolute Zero are the only omni-elemental heroes that existed back then. Um, but I could still put that in. Um, I can also put in another Dragon Synchro. Um, I run Debris Dragon, and it's my only tuner, hence why I've only got these. Um, I can't play multiple Black Rose Dragons, because it was limited at the time. Um, so I'll need another Dragon Synchro. As for my Spellcasters, um, I have two copies of Pot of Duality and two copies of Effect Veiler. Uh, just like Drake Request, they, they were also originally printed in Duelist Revolution. So, yeah, again, rather annoyingly, I can't use them. So, again, I'll have to find some replacements. Um, and try and make them more consistent. Um, that being said, I don't know if I will enter any Edison tournaments, purely because um, there seems to be a heavy representation of Gladiator Beasts, X-Sabers, and Full Power Infernities. And as I've said many times, I fucking hate gladiator beasts and X sabers with a passion. Like I've never liked them and never will, because like her glads do nothing but lock down decks with Heraclean or some war chariots. X sabers do nothing but OTK hand loop and shut down spells with Naturia beasts. So, those decks are just not fun to play against. As for infernities, well I don't hate Infernities anymore, but um, yeah, it is a deck that I used to hate, as um, it's an OTK deck as well, or at least it was back then, uh, plus Triple Barrier just doesn't let me play, so it was just infuriating, so I mean if I do give Edison formats a go, I'm gonna have to come up with some side decks that can help me specifically counter them. Um, so I'll modify these anyway. I mean, these are two or three of the next pass format decks I'm going to play with anyway. Uh, the other one being my uh, March 2008 Dark Magician deck. So, um, we'll get some more cross ban list games going soon. But yeah, uh, those aren't the only decks I'm going to bring back. I have brought back three current format decks, and they're ones I did mention um, in recent videos. I have brought back Magician Girls, Cats, I don't believe this deck just fell on the floor. Oh, I'll pick it up in a moment. And also light rays. Um, was... oh, these are the first of my other decks uh, to come back for my 20th anniversary celebration since I got into the game. Um, now I 
did mention this in another video, but the plan is, next time I'm around Emma's place, um, to have a Magician Girl mirror match, um, play my cats against her Melfies, and play my Light Rays against her Light Swarms. I think those will be really epic matches. Um, Um, and while I'm at it, um, I want to try out those extra Waking the Dragon surprises um, that I was going to use during my return to tournaments. I never got a chance to use them. Shame, really. Um, and um, I have actually told Emma what one of them is. Um, but as for what it is and what the others are, well, you'll just have to wait and see. Um, I mean, if I do get to use it, I probably won't resort to using Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Blackwing Full Armor Master, or Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon. That might be a bit too mean. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, I would like to use the others at least. Uh, yeah, is that everything I wanted to talk about? I think it is, yeah. Um, still um, debating whether or not to make changes to my Dark Magician extra deck, because there's some monsters that I don't seem to go into that much anymore. Um, Like um, Dark Paladin, Draco Sack, Ebon Illusion Magician, and the Nightmare Links. Um, actually, Ebon's the rank 7 I use the most, so maybe I will keep him in there. Um, I don't know. I'll have to wait and see, but. Right now I'm just going to prioritise editing my Edison decks. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Dark Retrition YouTube channel.